Attention, Financial Future Community. If you're a part of our Social Security recipients, get ready for some exciting news. The first checks of January are here, and Social Security is bringing you an additional $200, making the total $4,873 hitting banks today. This is especially great news for those in low-income Social Security, SSI, and SSDI. Brace yourselves for some incredible updates in 2024, from soaring benefits to crucial information about Medicaid, Medicare, and Social Security. This video covers everything you need to know to make the most out of your Social Security checks this year. So stay tuned. The Social Security Administration's annual cost of living adjustment has been rolled out, resulting in a 3.2% increase to accommodate inflation. This translates to an average boost of $58 in monthly benefits for recipients. Moreover, the maximum available benefit this year has peaked at an impressive $4,875. If your birth date falls before the 10 of the month, congratulations you're likely to see your Social Security checks first. Those with birthdays between the 11 and 20 can expect their payments by next Wednesday, January 17. For individuals born after the 21, payments will be dispersed by January 24. Approximately 70 million Americans receive Social Security benefits, and this year's COLA ensures an uptick in their monthly payments. But wait, let's clarify something important. Social Security disability insurance differs from supplemental security income. While both can be claimed by individuals with disabilities, SSI primarily aids visually impaired or disabled persons with minimal or no income, plus those aged 65 and above. Funded by general taxes, SSI operates separately from Social Security taxes. On the other hand, SSDI provides relief to citizens unable to work due to disabilities, aiming to replace a portion of their previous earnings. Now, let's talk about retirement benefits and delayed retirement credits. DRCs can be accrued between your full retirement age and age 70, boosting your eventual benefit amount. These credits, worth 8% annually or 2 3 of 1% monthly, are earned if you're fully eligible but haven't started receiving benefits yet. Determining your FRA depends on your birth year, and factors such as retirement age, post-retirement earnings, and income all play roles in determining Social Security payments. For 2024, the maximum earnings subject to Social Security tax are $168,000, with different limits for retirees before and after their FRA. Recipients should have received benefit package details for 2024 in a letter from the Social Security Administration last December. Moreover, dual eligible individuals might benefit from a special Medicare Advantage plan that combines hospital, medical, and prescription drug coverage while retaining Medicaid benefits. Exciting times ahead for Financial Futures Social Security recipients in 2024. Keep an eye on your accounts, check those portals, and make the most of these updates. Remember, knowledge is key when it comes to your benefits. Now, let's kick things off with Medicaid, an invaluable healthcare program that offers affordability based on income. For many, Medicaid can be a lifeline, providing health coverage at significantly reduced costs and, in some cases, at no cost at all. However, recertification annually is necessary to continue benefiting from this program. The coverage under Medicaid is extensive, usually encompassing children, pregnant women, the elderly, individuals with disabilities, and adults with low income who meet the specified criteria. It's important to distinguish Medicaid from Medicare, a federal health insurance program that primarily targets individuals aged 65 and older, along with certain disabled individuals and those with end-stage renal disease. Now let's shift gears and delve into Social Security benefits. Often recognized as a retirement benefits program, it offers more than just retirement support. Supplemental security income benefits play a significant role providing monthly payments to low-income adults, children with disabilities, visually impaired individuals, and those aged 65 and older. 
Interestingly, individuals aged 65 and older can also qualify based on financial eligibility even without a disability. Navigating through the tax intricacies related to Social Security benefits can be challenging. The taxation of these benefits hinges on various factors like additional income sources and withdrawals from retirement plans. Approximately 40% of Social Security beneficiaries find themselves liable for federal income taxes on these benefits, with some also subject to state taxes. However, it's crucial to note that SSI benefits are not taxable according to the IRS, as they're considered a distinct safety net benefit funded from U.S. Treasury funds. Understanding the nuances of Medicaid, Medicare, and Social Security benefits is vital for making informed decisions about your health care and financial well-being. Remember to explore further resources and seek professional advice to maximize the benefits you're entitled to. That's a wrap for today's video. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to hit the like button, share it with your friends and family, and subscribe to Financial Future for more insightful content. Until next time, stay informed and take care.